So I guess um, one last question, and this is just general thought here. I mean, we've touched on how a lot of this is implementation rather than any new invention, but I mean, where where do we go from here to drive further efficiency? Just the, what, what does the future look like? What What else can we do? I mean, we start with implementation of what we already have, and then where do we go? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, oh yeah, I'll, I'll re-emphasize that using what we have already. I mean, all the I hear quite often more training required of people in people in data centers, training of people that are operating data centers to understand what what can be done and and how to do it. Um, I mean, the the right sizing of of not only not only on the cooling side but on the power side as well too. Uh, seeing stats number of years ago where 80% of all data centers never achieve 60% of their design build capacity. So that means that there's a lot of wasted, I'll call it infrastructure out there. I mean, how many companies when they're doing a new build go in and say, well, I'm 10 years from now, that's always the question the, that's asked, where, where are you going to be 10 years from now? Well, 10 years from now, I'm going to be running a two megawatt data center. And so as a result, all the infrastructure, all the cooling, everything goes in there to uh, to support that. Five years later, they're only at 500 kilowatts or something like that, or a megawatt as such. So meanwhile, all the cooling systems are still there. They're still, in a lot of cases, they're still operating as such. So just awareness of, of what's going on, uh, what can be done to improve operations and data centers. Um, one of the things that we talk about a lot with our customers is, the total life cycle. When you're looking at buying servers, when you're looking at buying equipment, look at the total life cycle cost of that. Don't let procurement drive you down the road of, of cheapest product. What's it cost you from an energy point of view? What's it cost you from a capital point of view uh, for that equipment? What's it going to cost you to recycle that equipment uh, as well too? So let's look at it from a total life cycle. Uh, perspective and, and put that into play in there. Um, and just as I mentioned earlier, the whole, the, I think eventually immersion cooling is, is going to be here. It's coming slowly, um, but it is, it's quite a, quite a, quite a adoption process for, for most companies. But I think there's a, a lot of benefits in immersion cooling. When I look at the part of, part of the work that we did for this calculator was to look at the various types of cooling systems that are out there. And when you when you do the analysis from an energy point of view of immersion cooling relative to anything else that's out there right now, I mean, it's far beyond um, being more efficient. It's, it's a factor of, I'm not sure, a factor of a lot of more efficient from an energy point of view, but it's, it's getting over that adoption barrier for people to do that. So. Yeah. So I think that's from my point of view, there's <clears throat> it's yeah, I say I work in we work in the, the legacy world. Uh, it's it's getting people to adopt more and more of what's what's available, what's out there today. Yeah. I think uh, for, for me, I think uh, again, I like to go back to adopting a holistic and uh, integrated uh, uh, approach. Uh, and at the same time, actually taking care of the details at the different levels. Right? From from race floor to rack to row to room level, right? So uh, I think earlier on, the, Mr. Murphy has actually mentioned, right? For example, the use of language panels, whatnot, right? To sort of, uh, for example, uh, avoid cold air bypass, hot air recirculation. So I think all these details has to be uh, taken care of, and uh, and together with a holistic uh, and integrated approach, I think that would actually ensure that we move towards really. Uh, an optimal design as well as optimal operation of our data center, achieving the kind of uh, carbon footprint uh, reduction that uh, we, we, we hope uh, to, to realize. Yeah. So I think that that's really the, the approach, a holistic and integrated approach, and at the same time taking care of the details at different levels. Gotcha. All right, we all have to get better at what we do. We dig deeper, look at things <laughs> overall. I like it. <laughs>